So in recent months, there's been lots of complaints about the price of golf clubs. So I thought I'd do the, uh, well, the obvious thing, I suppose. Let's go hunting for some bargains and see if you can play this game at a little less expense. And that challenge took me to Decathlon Sports Superstore. You've maybe already seen my review of the driver and of the irons, of which I was super impressed. But on that day, I also picked up the Inesis 500 Hybrid. And I've got to say, based on looks, very, very similar to that of the, uh, of the driver and the fairway woods that they do. It looks absolutely stunning. It's got 24 degrees of loft on it. It's classed as a four hybrid, all those kind of things I like. The question is, is this as good as the irons and the driver? That's right at the flag. Has it got the legs? I don't think so. Um, might just reach the front edge but as you can see from the two shots that I'm going to overlay first was from the tee box on this 10th hole and you can see a really good high ball flight as you've just picked up from that that we've just played from the rough I'm a massive fan of hybrids as you well know I'm also a fan of hybrids with plenty of loft the interesting thing for me in both the driver and in this hybrid because the range is very limited the driver has one loft and it's 12 degrees same with the hybrid it's 24 degrees they recognize at Decathlon and at Inesis that Loft is certainly, uh, well, certainly a beginner golfer's friend. And uh, in many situations, a hybrid with Loft can be a very versatile club in the bag. From what I've seen from those first two shots, this could be a real winner again from Inesis. Get up, get up. Well, I love the versatility of a hybrid and uh, well, this is not the video to talk about that, but how good is this Inesis 500 range? The big deal for me is this. I don't think a case of uh, spending or saving money if you're going to get inferior product is a good idea. Now, the interesting thing for me, both in the driver and the irons and now in the hybrid, is the build quality. That's the biggest surprise because I'm expecting, if I'm paying low, low cost for something, I'm expecting to get inferior components to what I would normally pay for in terms of top-end product. Starting with the shaft itself, this is a UST recoil shaft, which can be seen in every major brand's offering in terms of shaft choice. So that's a real, real positive first of all. Then the quality of the build of the head itself, it looks really good, and to me, it sounds really good as well. But put together the whole thing, is far, far different than I would expect to see in an 80 pound hybrid. Now this takes versatility to another level, but what I've just realized is that I could play four shots and get a par with only a hybrid in hand. Go on. Hybrid is a very versatile club. I can't par this all on the best of days, you know. <laughs> so one question I ask myself is what is the difference between this 70, 80 pound hybrid and the one that I've got in my bag currently, which is the TaylorMade Stealth. You can see one shot I just recorded on the previous hole. It wasn't a great strike, to be honest. It was okay, pretty average. But did it do anything differently than I'd uh, played with two out of the four shots with this club on the previous hole? The answer is probably not. The things are, obviously, it's limitations again, which we spoke about in the previous video. Limitations in shaft, limitations in, uh, in, in loft options, no adjustability, all those kind of things you're obviously going to pay more money for. But... This is a club that should be and probably is in a lot of average golfers bags and this is a good one to put in and save yourself a whole lot of money anyway 177 wind off the left water on uh, wind off the left water on the right can our little Inesis 500 work its magic The wind got it get no it's okay i see might grab a bit of the right side oh i think we've grabbed bunker right a little bit too much cut on that and with the wind as well it just uh, drifted a little bit i was a bit worried there for a minute but the ball fired off there yet again that fade that was put on there was uh, from me and i keep on being impressed by this range from decathlon sit sit oh that's not too bad the interesting thing for me, like I said in the beginning of the video, was the price. It's, um, well, I think it's $79.99. It's a huge saving, but what I'm going to do is throw up on screen for you now is the kind of the top brands, sort of competitive prices, if you like, 
and see how it compares and my guess is it'll be uh, well it'll be significantly different right i'm gonna hit one last shot on the par five and normally be drivable let's give this a whack and then we'll give it a bit of a a summary um which i think everybody pretty much knows what that's going to be right let's see if we can find the fairway the interesting thing at address probably something that i've not mentioned is that um just how good that i think it does look at address i love the fact that it presents so much loft because again i think that's a huge confidence builder for so many average golfers and it's a fairly big head profile as well which is something that again will breed a lot of confidence uh, for most average golfers high ball flight is really really good dead easy to pick up again i've got this tendency to just leave it out to the right a little bit probably something to do with the way i'm swinging the club today but hopefully you're picking up in terms of how good it sounds off the face you can see how easy it is to get that ball airborne it's everything that in any other video of any other hybrid that i would be suggesting is a real real positive in the review so why wouldn't it be that you buy this one at 80 quid because it's a bit of a no-brainer to be honest with you the only negatives are that if you're at the top end of the game really want to sort of dial in your numbers um, really want to change maybe the ball flight so make some adjustments then obviously you can't do that with this club but when you offset that against the cost and for the majority of us what we want in the bag then this is just a really really good club i said in the previous videos if you want a 12 degree driver a 24 degree hybrid then they are making both elements of the game that little bit easier in my opinion loft is a huge help to all of us really but certainly when you start in the game just to see that ball getting up and airborne well it's uh, it's a nice feeling and encourages you to play the game a little bit more and again that idea that you can buy these clubs and not break the bank then there are options out there and it shows that golf it is an elitist sport in many ways in terms of the price brackets that the products fall into but there's plenty of ways of playing the game without breaking the bank and whether it be from decathlon or costco uh, or the second hand market then uh, there's plenty of ways like i said to play this game and get plenty of enjoyment out of it anyway that's exactly what i'm doing here this morning at carden park it's been a gorgeous morning a bit breezy uh, but uh, i want your feedback on the comments below who's trying this Inesis 500 who is now inspired to try this Inesis 500 from what we've seen in these last few reviews. Hit that like button and uh, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye for now.